Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs>what is going on guys my name is paris aka gold sniper 9 and today i am back with a brand new red dead redemption 2 video for all the lovely people out there now rockstar did update their newswire not too long ago and i know they did think it was pretty slick to you know kind of add this and not let anybody know about it but i mean rockstar you were caught red-handed so with that said i'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can get some gold for this outlaw pass really quick if you guys don't know what the outlaw pass is the outlaw pass is this new thing that rockstar did pretty much introduce on their newswire today of this recording i am recording this on 9-5-2019 now with that said on the outlaw pass you guys will have exclusive access to a whole lot of pretty cool items along with some cash bonuses and some pretty cool little gauntlets i will show these up on screen there will be a horse mask that you guys will be able to get along with a pretty cool set of gloves now if you guys do want to learn more about this i will have a link to the newswire down in the description below so make sure you guys do go check that out if you guys are interested and want to learn more about the outlaw pass if you guys do want me to make a video on the outlaw pass and just going over that whole section let me know down in the comment section below and smack a like on this video but with that said in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can pretty much save up some gold or how you guys can prepare and get some gold for this outlaw pass and the outlaw pass is only going to be 35 gold bars now you guys can easily just buy some gold bars don't get me wrong but i mean who really wants to buy gold bars so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can earn pretty much some good gold bars really quick i mean fairly quick these are some methods i use i'm gonna be showcasing some of the methods i use in today's video you mean you guys can use them if you guys don't want to use them i mean you guys really don't have to but with that said let's get into today's video Alrighty guys, so the first way I'm going to be suggesting that you guys grind for some gold bars is completing challenges. Now, there are a variety of challenges from completing general challenges where you all you guys have to do is just simply just loot a few people, take some treasure maps, and simply find some of those, or even travel on your horseback. Now listen here, those challenges aren't hard whatsoever. There are even some sharpshooter challenges I suggest you guys complete, because you guys won't even know that you guys are completing these challenges without even doing them. You guys are doing them in the background, if you do ask me. You're kind of just playing missions and then you guys are doing these challenges at the same time so there are a whole lot of challenges you guys can do from the ones with your rifle to the ones with the repeater from the ones with the repeater to the ones with the revolver i mean you guys can do all types of challenges we even have shotgun challenges pistol challenges repeater challenges and even the rifle challenges now there are some challenges for hunting as well now don't get me wrong the hunting challenges are easy as can be also and the best thing about completing these challenges is that you guys do get gold bars and you guys continuously can repeat challenges over and over and i believe you can do that up to 10 times per challenge so don't get me wrong here guys you guys will be earning a whole lot of xp just by completing these challenges and you guys will be earning a whole lot of gold just because you guys are going to be getting gold nuggets just from completing each one of these challenges so i recommend you guys do complete the ones that are going to be in your sharpshooter section only because those are some of the best challenges and i feel like you can complete those back to back as quick as possible so i made a list of three awards that you guys think you guys should max out and I feel like you guys should constantly be trying to get these awards to gold or you guys should be trying to get gold nuggets for these three awards now the first one is going to be selling herbs to a doctor now if you guys don't have this maxed out your first award you guys are going to get you guys are going to get some xp at just selling five of them to the doctor then the next time you guys are going to get some xp it's for selling 25 and then after that is going to be 50 and then after that is going to be 75 from there the last and final time you guys will get some xp is by delivering a hundred herbs to the doctor from there you guys will be able to reset the challenge and you guys will be able to pretty much repeat it and i suggest you guys do that because you guys will be able to earn a whole lot of gold nuggets just from there the next challenge i do think you guys should continuously try to repeat is collecting animal parts so the times you guys will be getting xp for collecting these animal parts are going to be 10 times and then after that it's going to be 50 times from there 100 and then after there we're going to jump it up to 500 and then after you guys have collected over a thousand animal parts you guys will get some xp from there the next challenge i do suggest you guys constantly try and complete is either going to be kill enemies with a pistol or kill enemies with a repeater or whatever weapon you guys do find yourself using the most because you guys will be getting xp after 10 kills and then again after 50 and then from there 100 and from there you guys are going to need to kill 500 enemies just to get some xp from this challenge from there you guys are going to need a thousand kills 
videos to get some XP from either doing this with the repeater or the pistol. But I suggest you guys constantly try and complete these three challenges only because I feel like these are the three easiest challenges you guys can complete without even knowing you're completing it. But but that's just my suggestion in my opinion. But if you guys do have a better way, go down in the comment section below and let me know. But with that said, let's move on to the next way you guys can grind out some gold for this outlaw pass. Okay, so the next way I'm going to be suggesting you guys do grind out some gold and some XP for this outlaw pass is going to be showdown series. Now listen here guys, I know some of you guys probably don't even like playing the showdown series, but listen here, do not play the large showdown series. You guys would think maybe playing the large showdown series would be better when you guys are playing with a whole lot of other people and you guys would be probably, you know, more eager to get some kills, but no, that's just not how that works. I feel like if you guys do play the smaller ones, it is going to be better. You guys will be able to get a lot better game modes because I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but I can never get an up and smoke game going when it is in a large series. I can only get an up and smoke game going when it is in a smaller series, but maybe that's just the way Rockstar does have it set up. But if you guys are looking to get some XP and gold inside of that, I want you guys to go play that and grind that out as much as possible because they are doing double XP and a double, I'm not sure if it's double, it might be like 40% increase actually in gold and it will be the same for money. Do not quote me on that, but I just know there is a XP symbol right next to the icon when you guys do load in. So I recommend you guys do grind that until September 10th when the update does come out. But I don't want to make this video too long, so let's get straight into the next way alrighty guys so the next way i'm gonna be showing you guys to make some gold inside of red dead online is going to be a flaco mission so if you guys don't know where flaco is flaco is all the way up near coulter and what you guys are going to want to do is make sure you guys are in a defense mode and i know i didn't show gameplay of this but make sure you guys are in a defense mode the reason why is because you guys aren't going to want any player assassin missions you guys are going to want simple missions where you guys are going to have to go out and maybe destroy some supplies or pretty much missions where you will get a timer so what you guys are going to do once you guys do get that mission with the timer and what you guys are going to do once you guys do get that timer what you guys are going to want to do is hunt all of the animals up here now as soon as i did come out of the cabin i did get me a nice little rabbit i want to let you guys know up here in colter there are all sorts of animals you guys can hunt such as rabbits deer hawks there are all types of stuff you name it it's probably up here in colter now the reason why i do suggest you guys do it all the way up here is because there aren't as many players up here and you guys won't really be bothered don't get me wrong you guys can do this down in saint denis or in rogues if you guys did want it to but i just want to let you guys know if you guys do this all the way up in colter nine out of ten there won't be any players up here so i recommend you guys do do that while you guys are up here and you guys are probably wondering how long you guys are going to want to hunt for i mean you guys are going to want to hunt for at least a decent 5, 10, 5, 6 minutes. I don't want to go 10 minutes because, you know, some missions don't last that long. But you guys are going to want to leave enough room inside of the mission for you guys to complete it. So I'm going to leave this pretty cool little clip in. I was hunting a rabbit and all the way out here in Coulter, this is exactly what I mean why I feel like Coulter is one of the best spots where you guys can... Oh my god guys, I just realized this as I was recording this, it's Amber Reno, it's not Coulter. But I want to let you guys know, there was this pretty cool thing that did happen to me where a whole bunch of sheep were all in one spot. And I'm not sure if this could happen to you guys, I'm pretty sure it could, but I mean, I just wanted to leave it in where you, I had all of these sheep just running. They weren't necessarily actual sheep, they were like ram sheep, I'm not sure, they were some kind of a bighorn sheep I believe they were, if I do remember the name correctly. But there were a whole bunch of them and they all just were running in this one spot and it's all the way up here in Amber Reno. I realized I was saying Coulter, so I apologize. I'm not sure if some of you guys have already went down in that comment section below and commented and just, you know, pretty much corrected me because I do know I tend to slander a lot of words. I'm not sure why. I just tend to do it. But anyway, what you guys are going to want to do is simply run down the timer that is given to you inside of the Flacco mission. And you guys are going to want to hunt within that timer. And you guys are going to want to leave yourself a decent amount of time where you guys still can complete the mission and you guys are going to want to make sure you guys do have quite enough things inside of your inventory slash satchel and the reason why you guys are going to want to do that is because you guys are going to be taking all of this down to the butcher later on so it does not really matter what you guys do put on 
a horse it can be three star it does not really matter it can be a one star but the reason why i say this is because you guys are going to be making some money and you guys are going to be making some gold so once you guys have run that timer down that flaco has given you inside of the mission you guys are going to make sure it is inside of the red and then you guys are going to want to simply either complete the mission or you guys are going to want to destroy those supplies exactly at the zero dot i'm going to have my gameplay show you guys exactly what i mean fortunately the game didn't register as me destroying it on time but you guys do get the point i did get about 36 or 35 extra gold bars for doing this or gold nuggets excuse me and then i got at least a decent amount of xp even though i only destroyed two of out of the three supplies so i'm pretty sure the game probably did register me destroying it on time but anyway you guys do get the point if you guys do want to see me do a video on money instead of gold i will be glad to make sure you guys do go drop a like on today's video if you guys did enjoy and let me know what method you guys are going to be using to grind out some gold for this outlaw pass but with that said guys it's been your boy paris aka gold summer nine I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.